August 18, 1967, during the Red Sox impossible dream season, tragedy strikes when Tony Canigliaro is beamed by Angels Jack Hamilton. Hit just below his left eye, Canigliaro would miss the rest of the season and all of 68. The injury effectively ended the career of a player who by the time he was 21 had become the youngest in American League history and second youngest player in Major League history to hit 100 career homers. August 18, 1995, in a 9-2 Toronto win, Baltimore shortstop Cal Ripken plays in his 1208th consecutive game, passing Steve Garvey for the third longest streak in Major League history. August 18, 1995, after 39 years at the mic, Yankees announcer and Hall of Famer Phil Rizzuto retires as team broadcaster. The Scooter's retirement was prompted by a dispute with WPIX-TV, who refused to allow him to miss a game to attend the funeral of teammate Mickey Mantle. The voice of the Yankees would eventually return for the 1996 season. Taking full control of the game, Milwaukee pitcher Lou Burdett pitches a one-zip no-hitter against the Phillies, facing just 27 batters and scoring the game's only run. On August 18, 1906, Wee Willie Keeler strikes out for only the second time this season, falling both times to White Sox pitcher Ed Walsh's illegal spitball. In 1902, the first unassisted triple play ever in a professional game is executed by first baseman Hal O'Hagan of the Rochester Broncos against Jersey City. And Roberto Clemente was born on this day, August 18, 1934. That was August 18, This Day in Baseball.